Okay, our next presentation comes from Elkhorn. Please welcome the flour mill. My name is Tyler Morris, and I'm here today representing the flour mill. Uh, we're a restaurant located in Elkhorn, Iowa, uh, a big Danish community. And uh, we've become known in our six months of being open for our pizza and our pasta especially. I would have loved to bring the judges of our pizza and pasta today. We've got fantastic pizza, some great homemade ravioli there in that picture. Just wasn't feasible. Too many variables. We're over three hours away from here. So I brought you guys some Danish rye bread and some cinnamon rolls, and I'll hit on that in just a minute. Uh, this is my business partner, Tyler Larson, who bears a striking, striking resemblance to Rob, I think, in this picture. Um, Tyler's got over 15 years' experience in the restaurant industry, and his dad is, is a successful restaurant owner as well. And then you've got me. I'm a former elementary school teacher and high school and college basketball coach. Uh, when a former cafe and pizza place came up for sale in Elkhorn this past summer, we saw a fantastic opportunity. Um, the, the place was turnkey ready. Um, we, we've had to invest very little money to get the place going. Pizza and pasta are very hard to find in our area. The closest people doing uh, made from scratch pizza were 30 miles away. And so again, we saw a great opportunity. And, and the local people wanted not only more options, but they wanted different options. It's really easy to find a burger and fries in our area. Um, really easy to find fried food. Much harder to find um, more high quality stuff. Our business approach has been very simple. We, we, uh, we thought we needed fantastic food, wonderful service, and a fair price. And I think you need that anywhere. We have a very conservative community, though, and we knew that we really had to hit those things if we wanted to be a successful business. We also decided we had to have a smart menu. So what do I mean by that? We have a lot of ingredients that are used for different things. So uh, some of our stuff, our stuff that goes on pizza goes on our sub sandwiches and it goes in our uh, pasta dishes as well. So there's very little waste. Uh, we needed to be open at key times. Lots of restaurants in our area are closed on Sundays and Mondays, and so we said we would be open on those days. A lot of restaurants in our area also close between lunch and supper, and so we said we would stay open. If you came to Elkhorn at the wrong time, there was nowhere to eat. Uh, we also needed to look for profit opportunities. Our day to be closed, we decided, would be Tuesdays, but we had this space and this time that wasn't being used, so we decided to bake. Uh, we baked Danish rye bread because everybody stopped doing it in our town and our community wants it. So that was something we do. Uh, we get an afternoon coffee crowd because we're open all afternoon. They love those cinnamon rolls. And then we also bake other desserts as well. Another profit opportunity that came up was catering. We've done a lot of catering projects so far and we'll continue to do so. Uh, all this, I think, is working pretty well. We've been open for six months now and we have over $100,000 in sales in six months. And I want, to be, I want to remind you that we have, well, I didn't tell you this, we have 12 tables in our restaurant. Uh, we opened in November, which isn't really the ideal time, and we're in a town of 650 people. So I think we've got a good thing going. And because we've been so busy, we now have a staff of 12, most of them being part-time workers, but um, still we're a pretty good employer in town. Our food approach is real simple. We're trying to do things the right way. We make our dough from scratch daily, our sauces, uh, from scratch daily, and of course our baked goods every week are made the same way. Uh, we get fresh vegetables, we cut them ourselves, we only cut what we need for about a day so that everything is fresh and we do not waste anything. And we also said no fryer, no microwave, those are what cheap. So. <laughs> uh, if we were able to win the, the grant money, um, we would definitely expand. Like I said, we have 12 tables, so our space is limited and we're busy and we have people standing waiting for tables quite often. We have a fantastic patio and courtyard, so what we want to do is put in a sliding glass door and a ramp to make it wheelchair accessible. We want to put about five tables out on our patio with four seats each, and we want to put a, a lean-to roof over the whole thing so that we can combat um, different weather conditions. With the money, we would also uh, and a stage at the south end of our courtyard and do live music nights. This is a shot looking out from the patio into the courtyard. Um, my picture there isn't the best, but you get the idea. Somebody at the south end playing music and, and 
and we anticipate that whole grassy area and the whole patio will absolutely be impacted at night that we have a live music. The impact would be felt in a lot of different ways. Um, if, if we get this outdoor seating, I'm immediately going to hire another server and I'm going to look for more kitchen help as well. So we would be adding jobs. Uh, we would also increase the hours of our current employees because if adding uh, five more tables, especially outside, we would have to have another server on for our uh, lunch and supper shifts. We anticipate our overall sales going up 10% with the additional seating outside. It would also grow our customer base, having the outdoor seating and the live music. We anticipate the live music nights bringing in over $2,000 in sales along each night. And so that's quite a return on the investment. And uh, it would just provide an, an entertainment option for a small town in Southwest Iowa that really wants it and really desperate for it. So thank you, everybody.